Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be checking out how Japan views other countries in Europe, which should be very interesting because we all know um, how we view uh, Japan. We see Japan on a map and we think uh, sushi, ramen, anime, all that kind of stuff. So, but what do Japanese people think about other countries in Europe specifically? Let's take a look. All right, this is based on um, this is a map based on like survey data and stuff, I believe. So first one up is Iceland, um, which is pretty cool. I've never been there myself, but it uh, looks like Japanese people view Iceland as safe. Um, and I can see that. Yeah, I don't think there's much crime in Iceland. And there's not much crime in Japan either. There's only about one uh, percent crime. I think in Japan. I don't know. I've never experienced crime in Japan myself personally, but yeah. Up next, we got Norway, which seems to be luxurious prisons. What? Why do Japanese people view Norway and think of luxurious prisons? I gotta, I gotta research that. Hold on. <laughs> Norway, luxurious prison, pr prisons. What? Wait, really? That's luxury prison built in Norway. What the heck? It's true. I guess it's true. Why do they have luxurious prisons in Norway? According to Google, prison authorities claim such an attractive environment reduces uh, recidivism, recidivism, I don't even know that word, in its prisoners, which includes some of Norway's most dangerous criminals, thereby maintaining the country's and viable crime rate. Hmm. Actually, it's kind of cool, I guess. I don't think that would, I don't know if that would work in America though. Anyway, moving on to next Norway, Sweden, we got handsome men. Oh, I guess all the Japanese ladies think the Swedish men are pretty good looking. I guess uh, PewDiePie, Felix, you, you must be one of them. You're probably not watching this, but yeah, I guess people think you're uh, pretty handsome. And next we got Finland, which I guess all the Japanese people think Santa Claus lives in Finland for some reason. Although in America, America, we Americans think that it's he lives in the North Pole. For some reason, Santa Claus lives, lives in Finland. Why? Why the heck does Santa Claus live in fin Finland? Santa Claus Village is located in Santa Claus Village is located in Rovaniemi, Finland, the official hometown of Santa Claus. Holy shit! The Japanese are right. Santa Claus has made Lapland in northern Finland his home for centuries, and the Arctic Circle is close to his heart because many Christmas secrets are rooted in the magical place. What? Romanly Finland. Wait a second. Haha. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like uh, it looks like Santa Claus. Dude, this looks Rom Rov Rovaniemi Finland looks like the North Pole, like that we imagined as a kid. Look at that. That's like that's crazy. Oh my god, I guess the Japanese are right. Santa Claus lives in Finland. Next to Finland, we got um, Russia, which is just huge. And uh, yeah, I think everybody thinks Russia is huge. It's it's massive. Uh, next, we got Estonia. Moving on down, we got like Estonia, which is known for its IT industry. Interesting. I don't know much about Estonia, but that's interesting. Japanese people think uh, IT industry is big in Estonia, I guess. And um, Latvia, Latvians cannot eat potatoes, apparently. I don't know. It's a mystery. I looked on Google, but I don't. I don't really. I don't really see it. Looks like in Lithuania, that everybody loves Japan. All right, that's great. Great for you, Jap Japan. I mean, I love Japan too. That's why I live here. So, I have something in common with Lithuanians. Uh, Belarus. I don't even know Belarus was a country. Sorry. Sorry, people from Belarus. I apologize. But you guys apparently have beautiful women, according to Japanese people. I guess it's just. Japanese people think. Also, Ukraine has beautiful women. Belarus, right next to Ukraine. So Ukrainian women and Belarus, Belarus, women from Belarus are both beautiful according to Japanese people. Ireland is very green. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody pictures Ireland as the land of leprechauns and uh, potatoes and green grass fields. So yeah, I can see it. And uh, England has bad food? Why does England have bad food? I think I think the English have a lot of good food, like uh, fish and chips, and the English breakfast is pretty good, and um, you know curry, 
like curry is pretty good in England too. I've never been to England myself, but I mean, I, what I imagine from what I've heard, the food is pretty good. It's not bad. I don't know why Japanese people don't like it. Above England is obviously Scotland and <laughs> Japan uh, sees Scotland as wanting independence uh, from England. So yeah, that makes sense. And in uh, Denmark, Denmark, everybody is happy. Congratulations, Denmark. You are very happy people. Moving on down a little bit to Northern Europe. We got the Netherlands, which is famous for tulips, apparently, according to Japanese people. When Japanese people see Dutch people, they think tulips for some reason. Oh, I see. Dude, this is why, this is why. Tulip fields in the Netherlands. That is so cool. That is insane. Oh, that's where that, that's where that famous picture is from. Okay, yeah, I can see it now. That makes sense. The, oh my God, Germany. Japan, are you trying to get me canceled? I cannot show this. Let's let's just move on. And uh, Poland, uh, what the heck, Japan? Are you trying to get me canceled again? But this one's not as bad. But stupid people, really? Why 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 are Polish people stupid? I don't think I don't think Polish people are stupid. Uh, Belgium got chocolate. Oh yeah, Belgium chocolate is really good. I agree with you, Japanese people. It's very good there. Moving on to the Czech Republic. Japanese people apparently believe that Czech people are not religious, which is uh, interesting. Uh, I don't know much about the Czech Republic, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll have to look at that later. And uh, yeah, Japanese people aren't very religious either, so maybe they'd get along. And moving on down to France, there are no fat people in France. Um, really? I don't know. I think I think um, I think a lot of I think there's some heavier people in France. I don't. I mean, there's no not many fat, fat people in Japan. That's for one thing. But apparently, the Japanese people think uh, French. There's no fat people in France, which is interesting. In Spain, Japanese view Spain is good at soccer. Well, yeah, a lot of a lot of famous soccer people come. Our soccer players come from uh, Spain, so that makes sense. And Portugal is weak. <laughs> Why Why is Portugal weak? I don't know why. I guess because they don't have a big army or I don't know. But Japanese people think Portugal is weak, apparently. And um, going over to Switzerland, watches. Oh, I guess what? Um, is Rolex a Swiss brand? Oh, Rolex. Rolex creates, manufactures, assembles, and tests all its watches exclusively in Switzerland. Okay, I didn't know that. I'm learning a lot of new things in this video. So Switzerland is famous for watches. Austria is famous for classical music. I don't know why. Hungary is famous for lard. Why Why is Hungary famous for lard? I guess I guess because they cook with lard, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's see, Romania is famous for honey. Interesting. I have to try some Romania honey, Romanian honey. Uh, wine is very famous in Moldova. Uh, according to Japanese people. If Japanese people see Italy, <laughs> they, it's just mafia. Yeah, uh, I guess because of the Godfather of part one, two, and three, and all those, you know, famous uh, mafia movies. Yeah, mostly featuring Italian, you know, Italian people. So that makes sense. Serbia is good at tennis. Okay, interesting. So Spain is good at soccer and Serbia is good at tennis, apparently, according to Japanese people. And Bulgaria is famous for yogurt. Actually, that's that's um, I think that's true because um, I work with a, a person from Bulgaria and uh, he says that yogurt is very famous there. So I actually believe that Turkey also loves Japan along with Lithuania. And uh, when Japanese people see Greece, they think of financial collapse. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Greek people. <laughs> All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.